hope your families and you are safe during these extremely challenging times. Let me share with you how a typical day pans out for me, uh, especially because we are all working from home. WFH. It's, it's challenging, uh, it's new for a lot of us, but I must say it's got its interesting and even at times exciting bits. So this is where I typically start my mornings. Most of the time, I'm an early riser and I'm alone. Um, I look at the tree and the plants around us. You can see a bit of the tree here and um, I do say a prayer of thanks. The tree inspires me a lot because I feel trees stand for resilience, uh, for longevity and for just seeing through years and years of um, you know, incidents and troubling times and yet they stand tall. Um, so without getting very heavy, this is a bit of introspection for me. I sit alone with my coffee and um, sort of uh, just start thinking about my day. This is where I work. Um, we started working from home from the 16th of March, so it's been quite a while now. So this has really been my work from home desk. Though I must say on a regular work day as well, uh, this is where you know, after work, when I again come back to my laptop, I, I like to sit here. A uh, lot of lights, you can see paintings around. My husband's an artist and uh, our house is like a mini museum. And again, I just, I feel very inspired with art around me. So coming to work, we've divided our work uh, when it comes to working from home into three large buckets. And the first and the most important is of course people. Uh, people, uh, physical health, mental well-being. And we've got a whole calendar set of events uh, not just events, uh, engagement activities planned for the weeks. So for instance, starting from inviting an external guest speaker to inspire us, to birthday celebrations where we all get on video and sing and wish, to impromptu quizzes, we've done possibly everything, though we can do a lot more. Um, the second bit is of course the work bit, which is on business. Uh, so you know how do we plan huddles, how do we get the work done, which is which is actioned work and work which is about when things open up again, uh, what is a recovery plan or a rebound plan, how do we sort of bounce back, etc. And the third bit of it is what I feel very important and passionate about, be very open and honest with the team because this is a time where you have to put all cards on the table, regular updates, which is all about being transparent and letting people know that we are in this together and we shall overcome this together. Evenings are pretty much a mix of a very, very healthy, but sometimes unbalanced mix of Netflix um, reading, a uh, lot of catching up on reading. So this is really a study where we've got all our books, um, there's a TV and it's, it's a nice place to relax. Um, we're doing a lot of video calls, of course, catching up with family back home, friends, and we've just realized I mean, we're asking ourselves why we didn't do it before because, uh, you know, it's almost like people are just a screen away and uh, we've, we've reconnected with many of our friends. Um, you must be wondering why I haven't spoken about cooking at all um, and cleaning. Yes, I have done my bit of cleaning and uh, swabbing because, you know, the support staff is on leave. Um, but uh, I'm very blessed to have a husband who's a chef. He's not professional but close to being professional so we are being served really really delicious uh, dishes that he forages from the refrigerator and whatever we can manage to get our hands on so that's that's on the cooking bit uh, the day ends again with i must say uh, introspection thinking uh, about what's going to happen and not necessarily in a negative way as much as trying to infuse optimism and hope because I just believe that while this has been perhaps the most challenging of all the challenges that a lot of us would have faced in our lifetimes, I do feel that we have connected like never before and we can come out stronger. Thank you.